Workers continue to carefully dismantle the Manhattan parking garage that collapsed on Tuesday. All this comes amid growing questions about the safety of other buildings in the city. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook live in the Financial District with more this morning. Elijah, good morning. That's right. Good morning, Chris and Natalie. Well, you know, it's expected to be another full day ahead for crews as they work on tearing down this near century old parking garage, something that's been up since 1925. Now, this also, as we know, collapsed on Tuesday and it killed 59 year old Willis Moore, a parking garage manager here who was loved by many in this lower Manhattan community. 27 years, another thing that, a million years that. <sighs> It would be someone that I know. For nearly three decades, Tanya Davis says she parked at the Ann Street garage, greeted by manager Willis Moore. When I heard that this happened, I started calling him, and I know they said, um, I don't know, six was injured and, and, and one had passed. The 59 year old is the one person we've learned died in Tuesday's collapse. The demolition and cleanup process could take as much as two weeks. Contractors have removed part of the front of the building and are having to cut some of the cars into pieces to take them out. Crews are trying not to damage neighboring buildings and also prevent potentially flammable material from gas tanks from igniting. Right now, investigators are trying to figure out the exact cause, looking at two main factors the age of the building and the weight. There were 90 cars parked inside, more than half of them on the roof. Between the weather and repeated loading, trucks, uh, trucks and cars coming in and out on a repeated basis certainly can over time wear the building and cause an eventual collapse. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has launched an investigation, so has Mayor Adams, not only into this incident, but into the hundreds of other parking garages across the city. In the meantime, the Department of Environmental Protection is using these air quality testers to make sure it's safe for residents and workers in this area. Asbestos has been assessed to, you know, being in the, in the building. In addition to the garage's instability, half dozen surrounding buildings now have full vacate orders. Adam Cohen lost his car in the wreck. He and his family are now displaced, staying in a nearby hotel with no idea when they'll be able to return home. They don't know how this is going to go and what the damage could be. And back out here live, we should mention that the company that owns this parking garage here behind me is expected to cooperate uh, with the city and other agencies in their investigation into this matter. That's the very latest here in the Financial District. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. All right, Elijah, thank you.